Hey YouTubians, what's up? I'm another XYZ and welcome back to another Club Banger. Today we're hanging out in r slash praying mantis. It's where the creeps get out creeped. So it's like creepy PMs on steroids essentially. You out creep the person who attempted to creep you in a creep fecta of sorts. Boy am I tired. I have work stuff I need to do first thing in the morning and I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't make this video and maybe I should go to sleep, but I'm doing this one for y'all. So let's go ahead and hop right on in. Hey, dude. What up, bro? I'm bored. What you doing, dude? Playing Skyrim, you know, just the usual. What about you? I'm horny. That sounds like a you problem, my guy. My dick is nine inches long. You gay, bro? Yes. Happy LGBT plus month, my dude. O what, dude? A month dedicated to LGBT plus people who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and many more. Are you gay? I'm demi-pansexual. How big is your dick? It's like three inches raging hard. I'm definitely a power bottom. What do you look like? Imagine Justin Bieber, but about a foot shorter and maybe 175 pounds heavier. Send me a pic. Like that? Can I see your dick? Say please. 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 That ain't no dick. I want a dick pic, please. 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 The end. I think my favorite thing about this whole post and this whole interaction is the, the very poorly photoshopped Justin Bieber photo. I love it because that's kind of what I imagined when I thought about him being shorter and 175 pounds heavy. <laughs> and this rat, I don't know what's up with this like naked rat, but like it's such a perfect image because it's like so weirdly phallic. I, I It's just everything worked out perfectly. And this person was trying to get them them sweet, sweet dick pics. And unfortunately, it looks like it just wasn't going to happen for him. Honestly, I can't think of any sounds to make that essentially explain this emoji, so I'm just going to leave it up for a second. Hey. Daddy waddles by. What? Daddy's balls are as big as apples. Hmm, what's wrong? That doesn't seem healthy. What doesn't? I would talk to your local GP about advice because swelling that much could be a cause of a whole heap of medical issues. And I wholeheartedly agree, mainly because, like, when I first read that, I was trying not to laugh hysterically. Balls as big as apples? Who finds that attractive? I, answer this to me, anyone out there. Do you find balls as big as apples to be remotely attractive in any way, shape, or form? Can you please teach me how to finger a girl? Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure you gotta stick it in her belly button. Finger a girl in her private area. Yeah, exactly. Belly button. Once it's in there, you gotta get a feather. In her pussy. Nah, you don't need a cat. Just get a fev and use it to tickle her feet. Can you show me how to finger a girl in her pussy? I'm confused. Nah, man. Leave the cat alone. Now, while she's laughing, not a cat, a girl. Now, go write her a letter telling her how much you love and support her. Please. Then you give it to her and respect her boundaries. Just show me how to finger a girl. <laughs> this person was so thirsty. So thirsty for essentially, this person was just trying to get a, a sturbatin video of somebody else. And, I mean, nice attempt, but... I mean, you weren't even close. And I think it was hilarious. The setup was just like, you gotta get a feather, you gotta tickle her feet, and, you know, uh, while she's laughing, go write her a letter. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just thought this was masterful. Hey, Pink. Smiley face. Looks at you sweatingly. I'm Ween. Hello. WTF cringe. Nuzzles you. Ooh, ooh, I'm shy. Farts. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what a tasty scent. I'm never coming on Twitch again. This exchange happened on Twitch? Is this a DM? This looks like it's a DM. I don't really know because I don't really mess with Twitch DMs all that much. I'm very familiar with like 
chats and things like that, but in what context does this person think it's a good idea to reach out to this person and do all this like weird, creepy, like uwu hello talk? It's just like, ugh, man. What game were you mutually watching where you were like, hey, you know what? This would be acceptable behavior to just DM somebody on that. Show me something that will make me wet. I can't. I'm 16. I can't. I'm 16. So what? That's illegal. I am. Awesome. I'm out of lube, so I'll just have to use a mix of crushed cockroaches and Tabasco. Hope that's okay. Sometimes after I have sex, I cry. When that happens, it usually means it's time to change my diaper. Please be gentle, I have gas problems. Also, my bedtime is 7.30 p.m. Please don't wake me up later. Come on, show me your dick. Ugh. It's about half an inch and my ball sack kind of looks like raisins. Yeah, you have to be careful though because if you look at it too long, it spurts out stomach acid. Fuck off, you little freak. I can't help it. I have a serious medical condition. Acid dick affects 1 in 12 men. <laughs> the last part got me, man. <laughs> Acid dick. <laughs> what? Um, I loved just, you know, the imagery in this one. It's just, just phenomenal imagery. The part that was probably the most descriptive and just got me 100% like full yikes energy was... My ball set kind of looks like raisins. <laughs> I love it, man. Love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Howdy. Feeling frisky and blah 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 tonight? Nope. You? Yes, obviously. Good luck. So you're just chatting but not frisky? Exactly. Good night. Today, Cinco de Mayo. Can I be honest with you? Sure, honesty's best. I really enjoy chasing after men. So when men just message me without me having to make an effort, I just don't feel like it. So you should definitely wait for me to contact you when I'm feeling horny. Eee! Okay, I will wait for you. Here's how it's going to go down. Um, she's just never going to contact you, ever. And that's the beauty in this one, because this person genuinely thinks that this person's gonna reach out to them, and they're definitely not. And I think the terrible misspelling of Cinco de Mayo made me just wanna lose my mind. So I really respect this person in uh, getting this person to fall for their weird little reverse psychology trick. I kinda love it. Why, my sweetheart, please, see in the saw. Yeah, baby. I want to see your penis so I can imagine I'm biting it off and rubbing your blood all over my body as you scream in pain. Send me your pussy pic. After my dick comes drunk, I will send you my sex video. Only pussy. Don't send full body. I see your pussy after my pants become drunk. <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> this one, um... The person just completely glossed over this very terrible description of biting somebody's genitals off and rubbing blood all over their body. Um, wild. Super wild. Yeah, I'm good. What are you up to? Not much, you. Just boy stuff. Like baseball? Nah. Oh, video games. Nope. Oh, eating vegetables quietly. So delightful. All the emojis that were used here almost led me to believe that this person might be playing with their peen and the fact that they were just like oh eating vegetables quietly because like that's what it looks like and i mean it's my favorite pastime honestly i love eating vegetables quietly and respecting people i am looking for horny females are you interested am i what interested in what do you have a business opportunity? Because I have this life-changing product that I think you would love. Are you interested on sex chat? Are you there? Have you tried essential oils? I work as an independent businesswoman with Young Living, and I have some products that I think you would love. What products? These oils have changed my life. Okay, I want sex chat. Looking for horny females. When my mom was diagnosed with cancer, 
I was approached by a fellow boss babe who recommended Young Living Oils to me. I dabbed some on my mom every day and she passed away peacefully. Bye. These oils are truly a cure-all. I haven't vaccinated all 10 of my children and the three that have lived are doing great. Okay, so I had to do like five takes of the like when my mom was diagnosed with cancer part because like I just kept losing in the middle of it right when they were like, uh, uh, dab some of my mom every day. She passed away peacefully. Yikes. <laughs> I love it though because it's just like, it's the most ambitious crossover of all time. It's the most ambitious crossover. It's like, who would have thought that this would be a genius strategy to try and out creep a creeper? Creeper hits you with like, send me some nudies. I'm looking for horny chicks. Please send me pictures or role play, etc., etc. And then you just go straight into your boss babe thing and you just anti MLM. It's like, it's so weird that MLM crossed over into this. It's like anti MLM meets praying mantis and I absolutely love it. Can you tell me anything to prevent premature ejaculation? Do you have anything for me? Think for yourself. Question authority. Close your eyes. Hold on tightly to a picture. A picture of your childhood. Think for yourself. Question authority. Imagine your childhood home. Walk around, help yourself. Go to the kitchen, to the living room. Go to the shower. You knock on the door, but there is no reply. The door isn't locked. Think for yourself. Question authority. Look around in the shower. You hear water running, smell soap. The shower curtains are closed, but you're curious. You're scared. Should you be? You open the shower curtains slowly, sliding them to the right. Think for yourself. Question authority. Your grandmother looks down at you from the shower. She stares you dead in the eye and licks her lips. She's holding dearly onto a cat. It's scared. It's Monday. It scratches your eyes out. It gouges your eyes away as your grandmother softly smiles to herself. Her wrinkly smile. Think for yourself. Question. Authority. It's not about the war on drugs. It's about the war on personal freedom, she whispers. The cat licks your eye sockets and grandmother laughs. Delicious. You fall into the shower and she kisses your forehead. Silly child, she says. You fall over into the bathtub again and slowly drown. Slowly but surely. There's no waking from this nightmare. There ain't, she cheerfully says. Recite this when you're about to come. You're welcome. All I've got to say is, oh my goodness, this would not only just prevent premature ejaculation, this would prevent all boners ever. What the hell? This is... I love this. It's There are so many crossovers in this subreddit lately, because this, I feel like, is... For me, this is like almost a, a weird no sleep type of situation. This whole thing that Mona concocted is a terrifying story. And boy howdy, would it prevent you from blowing anything anywhere. After reading that, I honestly was like shook for a couple seconds. I had to like think about the layers here. I kept going like, what's up with this think for yourself question authority thing? And then it made me like think for myself and question authority for a second there. It's, this is great. This is phenomenal stuff. It would have been even more hilarious had they responded afterwards, but I think after something as articulate and as well written and like low-key terrifying and amazing as that, there's no response to that. Also, after reading this, I think I just realized that um, there are some Tool lyrics in there to the song Third Eye. Tool, worth listening to. I just realized that while editing the audio. But that being said, Thank you all for joining me in r slash praying mantis. I apologize if my voiceover isn't as articulate as it normally is. I am very, very tired and I have to get up pretty early to do some stuff for work. And I honestly shouldn't have made this video, but boy, I love this subreddit and I love you guys. So like always, if you have any suggestions for subreddits, drop them in the comment section down below. And like at the end of every one of my videos, no glove, no love, peace.